Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We gotta have a conversation about yesterday's content. What is EA doing right now with the content on this game? Yesterday really brought some frustration to a head as we had one of the most ridiculous objectives I've ever seen alongside of a really, really bad value SBC. And a lot of people are not happy about it on this game. But was it all a part of EA's plan? Because hours after that, we had some big time leaks and we're expecting some big content now where maybe EA just wanted us to get upset before dropping some really good content to make us forget about it all. We're going to talk about that in today's video and go over everything you need to know about what's big time happening today on Wednesday. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over the abysmal, the ridiculous, and the absolutely absurd should never have been dropped. What was EA thinking content? Guys, like, I don't really do rant videos, right? There was already like a 30-minute rant video posted by Nick Run the Food Market. He did a great job explaining the frustration that we are all feeling right now on this game with specifically the content that all came to a forefront once again yesterday. It's been building, right? We've been up unhappy, upset, and this yesterday was the cherry on top. This is the most ridiculous objective I've ever seen. First of all, what here's what it is. First of all, you get 20 matches. You win 20 matches in the elite tier division, the toughest division to get into in rivals. And by doing that, what you get is a gold players pack, which is 12 players, one rare, Really not a good pack. And you get a special VIP area, which I don't think anybody cares about VIP areas or a very, very small amount of people care what their VIP areas look like on the customizable portion of the pitch. This is ridiculous, guys. Um, EA have been, have been doing a very great job of making fe people feel like they don't want to play the game. And this objective is just the pinnacle of... Of that, this feels like a slap in the face. If you're in the elite division, the rewards that you get for playing three games a week are so much better. Winning three games in elite division, you get so much better rewards each week than a gold players pack and some VIP area. It just seems deliberate from EA that this is meant to make us mad because also can you think about in this early stage of the game how many people have actually had the time to get to the elite division of rivals i mean i would grant granted a guess here but i would say there are less than a thousand people in the world maybe two thousand people in the entire world of the millions that play this game that are in the elite division after two weeks on this great game that takes a ton of grind determination and effort and skill obviously like so many of us are in division five six seven eight maybe three or four and you're just playing you know you're getting your rewards each week the elite division here's the other thing about this objective guys how many people are actually going to be able to get it done because think about this it's under the seasons tab which this isn't out for the entire rest of the year this is out for 22 more days because the season ends in 22 more days definitely the most ridiculous objective i've ever seen and it definitely made a lot of people mad, rightly so. I just kind of wrote it off after I saw it yesterday because I was like, this is freaking ridiculous. But then when you go to the SBC section, it gets just as worse because they dropped a player SB yesterday, SBC yesterday for a player who has a two-star weak foot. They required an inform. This card probably won't get any upgrades even. If he does, he'd be very lucky because Ajax are playing absolutely woeful at the moment. Somebody said they're like 16th in the air division right now. That's not the Ajax we're used to hearing about, right? But that's where they are. And guys, this is just bad, right? This is bad. Uh, there was really nothing else yesterday besides this. The store was quiet. There was nothing, uh, nothing else there. Not that there needed to be because we have crazy packs for what we've had for a start of a game in the store. EA has been getting more F FC point sales and draining more coins off the market with those ridiculous packs there at this stage of the game anyway guys i have to say yesterday was the deadest day of fc24 yeah and it, it doesn't help that our expectations from the beginning were actually pretty high i mean think about it guys we started at the peak of content this game has seen so far flashback kdb the player of the month, James Madison, two of the best SBCs we've had this entire year. We started out the first 10 levels on this game by getting an 80 plus times 10 at level five, which we were all like, yo, these season rewards are sick and they're great, right? This is one of the bright spots of content so far. An 83 times 10 at level 10 and oh wait, another one at level 19. That is insane packs, and now when we have these other objectives and other, even SBCs coming out that give packs that aren't close to that value, 
We are disappointed, and I think EA put the bar too high to start the game in some of those objective packs, and they haven't delivered even close to that bar since. Now, not to mention, like we said, the SBCs like KDB and the James Madison, we've had the Kudus SBC, which was decent, but a lot of stuff since then has been just too expensive or not quite good enough, or it's just too expensive for this early stage of the game that we can't afford. Like, Beckham, that's tough to do. Like, even though we have those objective packs available, like, I don't think anybody's saving all the 83s and the 84s and maybe a couple 85s they got from those objective packs to go work on the Beckham, and how are you doing an 88-rated squad right now if you don't have any coins? So... I mean, a lot to be frustrated about on this game after the content yesterday, and just the content in general, not to mention, guys, I mean, who wants to play a game where every time you log on, your player prices drop by like 30% every week? Remember when Rolfo was 70k? Guys, the peak of the market for this entire game was the first weekend when only like a small portion of the user base was on the game. Every single weekend, these cards just get destroyed in price, which is also very demotivating. And we talk about it a lot here on the channel, how that's also made people not want to play this game when you log on after playing for two or three days and your entire team is down 20% in value and it doesn't help you feel like you're progressing in the game when those players are dropping off and you're losing coins each and every week on this game and it takes a lot of effort and work to stay on top of market prices because if you don't you're going to lose coins and you know nobody likes to lose coins right we all need coins to do fun stuff in this game so anyways all of that combined has just made the content and just the feelings around it very very negative and rightly so right i mean i don't know what ea's plan with this is i will always say this though guys from all the years of Ultimate Team's experience that I've had, we've had bad content before, and always after it or sometime around it, EA picks it back up and they turn it back around. And I mean, we're not going to forget about this. Like, this is going to go down in Ultimate Team history as the worst objective ever. And just more like, what the heck, EA? What were you thinking? What is the point of that? I would. This would have been better not even being released as a part of content. It's just diabolical they even thought that that would have been an okay objective to release but i think in, in a sense as well guys they're getting exactly what they wanted from that objective yesterday they're getting us talking about it they're, we're upset right we're getting the buzz and it's it's maybe getting some views and some interaction and it's, it's getting us worked up and they're going to feed off of that because that's just what ea does and i'm tr i'm telling you guys this because i want you to be aware and informed because there's something that's upcoming that ea wants to make you forget about all that happened yesterday and make you think on the good stuff that is upcoming because there is some crazy stuff upcoming, guys. And EA is going to turn our minds around real quick. So to exit that rant conversation and all of that, let's enter into this. This pack code, this is so calculated, man. Literally five hours after content, this pack is added to the code. Max 87, base hero player. Guys, this right here is our first hero SBC of the year yes i think this is an sbc this is probably not going to be a pack that is in the store and guys i'll even tell you one further thing i think it's coming out today because wednesdays have been the day so far now we only have two weeks to look back on but two weeks in a row we've had a player pick sbc that is dropped on a wednesday first the lone hero then second it was the lone base icon which goes away oh today at the content drop which would be perfectly making way or this now also this is right around the time of the year where we usually get our first icon or hero sbc in fact last year in fifa 23 we had the max 86 icon upgrade i think it was like the 17th of october and ea's been doing things early and earlier this year right they started road of the knockouts earlier they did bigger packs and objectives earlier why not do this SBC earlier as well? So last year we had a max 86 icon that came out first, and then we had the exact same pack, the max 87 foot hero upgrade. Now, I will say for this year's set of heroes that are in the game, I think this SBC is way better. If you take a look at it this way, let me sort by all the heroes that are 87 rated and below because heroes like Ginola, Di Natale, they're not in this pack, guys. The only cards that are in this pack are heroes that have a max rating of 87 or below, but there's some good ones, right? You've got Ramirez in this pack now, a brand new hero. You've got Yaya Marquisio, Alawayrin. You've got Robbie Keane, Cordoba, and some of the other new heroes down here that are on the cheaper range, but still really good ones. McManaman, Risa, Landon Donovan. He's not new, I guess. Demarcus Beasley, Bomb Pastor, Alex Scott, Berbatov. Those are all heroes that will be packable 
from this SBC pack. Now, the question is, how much is it going to cost as well? Last year, it was a 75,000 coin SBC, and this was a one squad SBC. This SBC was so crazy last year, guys. Everybody was so hyped when it first dropped, because think about it right now. There's a lot of hype, and there would be so many people that would want to do a max 87 hero SBC, because how many of you guys actually have a hero in your team? Now, I'm lucky, and I have one, because I got crazy lucky from the advanced SBCs and packed Joe Cole, but not a lot of people have heroes, or even really, I think, have gone out and bought heroes, maybe to try one or two of them, but you know what? These are the SBCs that people go crazy for on this game. To have the chance to pack something insane or to get a, a player that's probably at this stage of the game usable. How many heroes right now in the second or third week of the game are really unusable? Like really not any of them. They're all usable to some extent um, in your squad or at least as a super sub. That's why this SBC has hype in this early stages of the game so let's talk about it right let's say it drops with the same requirements an 85 rated squad and an inform i think it's going to be more than one squad this year because technically still on the market 85s are only about 4.7k which fodder is rising guys and informs are pretty cheap as well informs i think the cheapest informs are starting to jump up off the ground a little bit they're not discard like they were i think team of the weeks are now just shy of 11,000 coins because people are starting to invest and rightfully so. Now, will I invest a lot in Team of Weeks? No. What I would tell you to do is do a club stock. If you can snag any of these at like, like boom, give me a Robert Taylor at 10,500. I know it's not technically discard, but this is, again, we compare this to like dividend investing in real life. It's an investment that you buy, that you put in your club, and you wait. You just wait weeks, maybe a month or two. Sometime in the next month, informs are going to go up anyways. And in this early stage of the game, there are so few informs. If EA do require informs in this SBC today, an SBC of this caliber with this amount of hype, they are going to go up a little bit. So keep an eye, especially on your like 83 and 84 rated informs. I think like Anderson Taliska. Palacios or a couple informs that are 83 and 84 rated. Uh, I think he's started to go up in price. Yeah, he's 15,000 coins. I believe he was like 13K over the weekend. But now that EA is requiring informs, that investment is there. I would stock the discard ones in your club because those could rise over time for sure. Now, I mean, another segue from that is technically EA have been dropping since they started last week. They dropped a Team of the Week upgrade SBC, which is very, very cheap. So this may hinder the rise on informs if they were to be required inside of a hero pack because you could go and do in this SBC and then put that into the hero upgrade. But still, um, that's only a one-time repeatable SBC. There's not a lot of informs on the market. I think that informs a discard and maybe some of the 83 to 84s. Buy one, two, put them in the club, a couple in the transfer list. And you could see a rise there. Now, for the rest of the fodder market, right? As I mentioned, I think this year the hero pack would probably have to be two squads unless they make it like an 86 or an 87 rated squad for the whole thing. Fodder is going to rise, and it already is. 84s are no longer discard. 85s are 4.6K. These were 4.8K for Shahanaglu right now. These are all rising, guys, because this pack code has come out, and people think the SBC is coming very soon, which I think is a pretty good assumption. As you can see, 86s are almost 9,000 coins. 87s, almost 14. 88s, about 17 to 18K. Card prices are rising as people are investing for this SBC. Here's what I would tell you. I don't think this hero SBC is going to be more than 100,000 coins because, again, it's the early game. EA have been pricing a lot of the SBCs between 50 to 100K. Like, if we take a look... At all the SBCs we have had this year, you think about like we just had the Diego Carlos. The Bergwijn was 33,000 coins and still bad value. Diego Carlos was 145, pretty bad value. 175 for Jonathan David. Those are some of the most expensive SBCs we've had besides Beckham. Kubo, 54K. Coquelin, 53,000 coins, right? And a lot of really cheap ones in there as well. Madison was uh, 47,000 coins. So I think a really good range for this SBC would be very similar to last year, probably 70 to 100K. So if you have fodder in your club, you're like, Nate, I can maybe swing it if it's two squads. I've got a lot of 83s or 84s. That's where my club is. I have club stock still, some 87s, maybe an 88 or two, and a couple 89s, and maybe even a couple of like 85s as well, right? Maybe you go and buy the fodder that you would need to complete the SBC if it's like around 100,000 coins worth of value, and then you're safe. Now, if you want to invest in fodder, I would tell you to be a bit more careful because prices have gone up a lot. But I would say once again that if this SBC does drop and it's a half decent price, 
guys, the prices are going to rise because this is the sort of SBC, like 88 at 12K. What a freaking buy that was on the weekend, right? As these cards are approaching 17, 18,000 coins. As we get an SBC like this, whether it's today, tomorrow, maybe it's not even until next week. This is the type of SBC that makes fodder move the most. Whenever we're investing for fodder weekly on a monthly basis, these are the SBCs that we look for because they move prices on this market the most. So be careful with fodder. All right. It's right. It's going to be rising today. Pre-content for sure. As people are going to be going out, stocking it, buying it. If we don't get the SBC, it's going to drop big. If we do, it's probably going to go up. But then also a lot of people are going to start selling their fodder right after the SBC and it could start to go down a little bit in value. Now, let's talk about the heroes, right? Because also today, there's probably going to be some panic on the market for some of these hero cards that everybody is going to be thinking that they're going to be packing. Now, I'll tell you right now, Rickon, Dempsey, Rosicki, Dudek, Ole, Nakata, Cahill. Okay, uh, those are going to be cards you're going to be packing a lot. Think about cards you're not going to be packing a lot. Ramirez, Yaya. Those most expensive top tier cards that we were just looking at as a part of that list. What I will tell you is today's going to be an amazing day to trade on this market with these cards. If there is panic selling, and when I'm talking panic selling, guys, I'm talking like Robbie Keane right now. He's down 10%. He was 330,000 coins and he's down to 300K. This SBC leak, right? He was 330, 340 and he's down to 300K now. That's about a 10% drop. I don't think that's enough panic for me to look at the Robbie Keane card and say, that's a card that not a lot of people are going to pack today. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I would need to see, and this is something that I would want to tell you, and this is kind of like a rule that I go by a lot when I'm just shopping on the market during panic selling scenarios. I look for 20% or more of a price drop in the last however amount of time that it is, short amount of time, panic selling. I look for 20% or more before buying a card, even if it's a really top tier rare card that a lot of people want to get, like maybe it's Alawayrin today, like 20% or more from where the price was before the leaks, before the SBC was potentially going to come out. And that's where I start to say, okay, that is a price that I want to look at. Guys, watch out for the panic on the top tier cards. These cards that a lot of people think they're going to pack, but they actually won't. From this SBC, watch the panic for those because there will be big panic sells and then probably some rebounds later on into the day today on Wednesday. So watch out for that. And of course, the rest of the market, this is why we were talking about in yesterday's video. Maybe you start to think about taking the coins and selling some cards here because guys, I don't think after this morning and after today on this game, the market's really just going to be mudded for a multiple of regions. People are, A, going to be selling. Think about it. People are going to be selling a card like this KDB who's already... I saw them at 77K just a couple hours ago. The panic is already starting, guys. It's going to keep going. People will be selling cards to afford to do this SBC. And also, the other factors right now on this game. Number one, we have got potentially a new loading screen coming today. This is the official Trail Blazers card design this is the official car design and that car design looks absolutely insane it kind of reminds me of like a cross between the colors of a record breaker because it's like the red and the blue but at the same time it's got kind of like the versus fire and ice like the fire side of things a little bit of those types of vibes that's a sick car design that card looks absolutely insane and i think there might be a loading screen today we mentioned it in yesterday's video but for the brand new promos that ea like to introduce they usually give us a loading screen a couple days early so that we just build the hype and get the hype rolling. Another reason why they're trying to get us to forget about the bad content and look forward to what could be the good content and the exciting and the hype to make us forget about that bad, terrible as objective and uh, SBC that they had just dropped. So watch out for that loading screen today. That could cause some more panic. Now, what else could cause some more panic? Oh, the team of the week that is coming today. We've got a pretty baller team of the week. Fede Valverde is in this one. Kingsley Coman with the five-star skills. Raheem the Dream Sterling, which could be really insane. I'm just thinking about how Sterling has his unique animations in game. His dribbling. I don't know what play styles he has and how big of a boost he's going to get. Watch out for that card. Could be actually really cracked in game. Lukaku's in Team of the Week today. Yes, they're doing it. A goalkeeper Giroud. It's like a shapeshifter card dropping the third week of FC24. This is sick. I like the idea. Now, some people don't even think that Giroud deserves the inform, which is actually not um, 
it's not incorrect. It's actually true. Giroud did make the save, and he caught all the headlines before his save and for moving from the outfield into in goal. But still, um, this is just kind of a fun card, and I give props to EA for doing this. He is supposedly getting a goalkeeper card. Be careful if you have Mike Mignon because that's one of the most, I think that is the most used goalkeeper card in this game. And if he gets an inform right here like this today, Mignon will probably drop. So be careful for that. I'm disappointed because we're not getting a Van de Ven today. We're getting a Kuti Romero, who, by the way, um, if we ever start getting a couple pack SBCs in the next week when Kuti Romero is out of packs, as his gold card will be going out of packs, this if you can get this on bid at like 800 coins or below, maybe even 750, I bought, you saw my trans list, I bought a couple pages of him under um, 800 coins, like 750 to 800, because that is a card that is insane for SBCs, especially if you get even another team of the week upgrade. 82s could see a little bit of a bump, and that's a card that could move a bit in value. Also, this inform, he had an inform early on last year that was really cracked. That's going to be a pretty decent card. So watch out for that Kuti Romero. I think we have a Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in Team of the Week as well today. And a McTominay. No word about Hansen. A lot of people, Caroline Graham Hansen, one of the best gold cards and most meta cards in this game. No word about her getting an inform just yet. So watch out for Team of the Week today. Last week with Team of the Week as well. Don't you guys remember the crazy supply that those cards had? It was all because of the 50k pack they dropped in the store. They might drop 50k packs today as well for the brand new team of the week. Watch out for that. EA might just go full out with the content after what the absolutely terrible yesterday's uh, release was on this game. So watch out for that. Oh, wait, there's one more thing to talk about as well. Player of the month, Hyunmin Sun. I think this is the weakest leak ever. FIFA Trading Romania, who's one of the leakers that we do respect, says Hyunmin Sun should win player of the month. What a leak, man. Is he should, could, maybe win it? Is this a leak or is this a prediction? I mean, it's basically fact that Hyunmin Son is going to win player of the month. He had the most goals on the month, and we all know what wins these awards. It is goals, right? Team is joint top of the table. It makes sense for him to win. I think everybody is treating this as a leak. Son's gold card and his inform are both dropping on the market. But, uh, I mean... That, to me, sounds like, like I said, the weakest leak I've ever seen because it says he should win Player of the Month. So I think that SBC is coming on uh, Friday, guys. I almost said Saturday. Friday, I think that Hyunmin Sun POTM will drop. And um, I think it's going to be expensive. I hope they give him an 89. I'm worried they might give him an 88 and just boost, like, maybe they boost his pace to 89 and his, like, passing to 84 instead of 82 on his inform. And then still, if fodder is going to be going up because we're going to have... Uh, this hero SBC pretty soon, then the Hyunmin Sun Player of the Month might be incredibly overpriced because EA will definitely forget to adjust the price of the SBC for the price of fodder, and it'll be like an 800k SBC, and then it will just be bad, and nobody will want to do it, and will be upset. That is my forecast for the Sun Player of the Month SBC, so be careful for that, but there's a lot of hype around that. I'd still love to do the POTM Sun. I just don't think I'm going to be like full sending and investing in fodder for it because of the other stuff that is happening beforehand, I'll try to just craft it over time if I can get around to that. So I know it's a lot to break down and a lot to go over in the video today, but guys, I mean, it's just crazy how this yesterday went and how today looks with everything on this game. Yesterday, like I said, was one of the most dead days um, I've ever seen on the game. Like the market was even so dead as well. We made a couple flips, but all the flips were just like two, three, four thousand coin profits. It was just, it was bad. So still trying to make a couple flips, couple informs that I bought there. Not really investing once again, like I said, just putting a couple into the club. And um, I'm ready for hopefully a, a hero pack today would really shake things up and it'd make things a little bit better. But EA, we are not going to forget the atrocity of what that objective was yesterday on this game. So hopefully that hero pack is today. Come on, EA, drop us a loading screen, get us hype once again and redeem yourselves for that content that was yesterday all right if you enjoyed the video today guys drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new see you guys in the stream today that links in the bio as well peace